Hello and welcome to this video. I just thought I'd do a quick video to show you uh, what I managed to pick up at the Great Electric Train Show this year. And I want to uh, obviously put a big shout out to Iron Horse Model Railways. I put a link to his channel in the description as I actually won the ticket to go from his prize draw. So I appreciate that. It was a very good day. I actually met a few YouTubers and it was a very good, enjoyable day. Nice to see you. And thanks to all who said hello to me and James. So the first thing I got uh, off one of the stools, I bought a packet of fishermen for the canal because I did have a few of these, but a couple of them have gone walkabout and I've searched high and low and I can't find them. So I bought a replacement pack and I think my youngest has been playing with the figures and they may have ended up disappearing up the hoover. So I was happy to replace a few of those. I got a few of these from the WW Scenic Stand Grass Tufts for the layout. A summer pack, Dead Tufts and the Spring pack just to uh, vary the tone. They were quite good. They were £5 a pack, which is very good value for money. And then what else did I get? Oh, the only train thing I bought from the show, uh, model railway train wise, was an Ellis Clark Lomac wagon. Now this really is something else. This is a lovely model. The box is obviously really nice, comes well packaged, but the model itself, now I've gone for the sat link red and yellow version, but that is phenomenal. It's really heavy, sprung buffers, because all of this is die cast. And you can see the detail underneath the wagon. And it is very heavy because it's made entirely, almost entirely of metal. Comes with some extra brake rigging, some vacuum cylinders, couplings and air pipes, which I'll put on later on. But I saw those, and I do like the Lomac wagons, but the Hornby one just isn't up to any sort of standard anymore. And I bought an Ellis Clark Trains ZXW Satlink Lomac wagon. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get one of the Dapol JCB kits, so I think I might have one in a box somewhere, and I'm going to sit that on the deck. But that is a lovely looking model. The detail on it is absolutely, I mean, the rivet detail comes pre-fitted with a vac pipe. It's really, really nice model. And like I said, there are loads of different varieties. But I chose that one as it was a bit different and it does suit my era. So that is a Lomac from Ellis Clark Trains. Nice to have a chat with them guys. And then the, the rest of the stuff, was from West Hill Wagon Works. Now, that is a phenomenal thing to buy. Now, the first thing I got was some self-adhesive vinyl safety stripes in yellow. These are for the harbour area. Because long overdue, but I've actually started working on the scenery on my layout again, but more of that in a moment. So I got some of those pre-cut. I'll put them on the dock side uh, on the rails when I get round to that. And the rest is detail stuff. So we'll start with... Some workshop benches, pack of four 3D printed. These all need painting. I do enjoy painting these sort of things. So a pack of four workshop benches, some barrels on trolleys, uh, some depot trolleys, and you'll see why most of this stuff relates to depot work. And you'll start like I said in the, I would take you around the layout to show you what I'm working on. So it'll be a bit of a layout update as well. Um, I'll give you some idea of what's happening. Some storage trays for TMD, uh, filing cabinet, and like I said, all these are 3D printed. These are some cats. Every depot should have a cat. 3D printed double O gauge cats. So uh, I will enjoy painting these. I'll prime them all first. This made me laugh. Grandpa Gerald on a mobility scooter. Now I thought that is something I've never seen on a model hour before, so I had to buy him. And the thing is, with West Hill Wagon Works, these are all very, very reasonably priced as well. Two or three, four pound an item. And you can soon amass quite a lot of very good detailed stuff. Now, like these, these are workshop equipment on pallets. You can see all sorts on there, buckets, spanners. This will all require painting, which I don't mind doing. Uh, oh, there's another, another filing cabinet. We've got a tool chest. A, another load of pallets. This time they've got DMU and coach pallets. So you've got batteries, vac pipes, lamps. And you can see on the front just how good they look when they're painted up. 
uh, what's this? These are some more workshop benches. They are, that is a tower lamp stand to go in the yard. There's one of those in Eastfield where I work, old tower lamp stand. Not used anymore, but it's still there. Uh, some buckets. I bought a right hand facing inspection platform for the TMD. That little neat painting up. That was the most expensive single item. I think that was 10 or 11 quid. That was the most, single most expensive thing. But these things, lockers, there's four in that packet. Once they've been painted on the sprue, sprue is easily removable. Pallets with wagon loads. You've got buffers, brake discs, wheel, and a forklift truck. So I'll be painting that in British Railway. Yeah, it even comes with a driver, pallet, and a load. So I think, having a look around, that is everything I got off West Hill Wagon Works. Quite a bit of a haul there. James got some bits as well. Um, he got some churns and that for his 009 layout. And I also got these off seven models, some etched brass deck chairs for the obviously the beach and the seawall section. Probably should have bought two packs of them, but one will be enough for now. So that is, apart from a few railway books, which I won't go into on the video, that is what I got from the Great Electric Train Show this year. And what a show it was. It was a good show, some fantastic layouts, got to meet Pete Waterman and, like I said, a load of you YouTubers. And that was really, really good. So uh, I look forward to going again next year. But that Lomac, really, really like that wagon. Very, very nice. Ignore the uh, warships in the back. They'll be in a future trash to track there in storage at the minute <laughs> so uh, yeah that was all i came home with from milton Keynes. right now we're around to the layout update and as you can see i've been working on the tmd i don't know why that light shine there but this hard standing is actually real concrete I followed a guy on uh, youtube tutorial it's not as good as his it could have done with being a bit smoother but i've got some of the bits out of storage and obviously, I'll just move these across. Got the sand implant and the depot. And I've also started to weather the track. Now, that has made a hell of a difference. Airbrushing this with weathered black and then roof dirt. And then just cleaning the tops of the rail with a track cleaner. And it has made a big, big difference to the look of the track. Now, I've got to weather the rest of the track. So that's going to take some time. If I lift off the shed... You can see that I've been. Where have I put the shed? Whoops. So I've weathered all of this. Car the concrete dried in a grey colour. So I sprayed it with some Tamiya deck tan. And then I've weathered it down with some weathered black. Some parts over here, obviously near the fueling point, is heavier. I haven't cleaned all the rails yet, as you can see. But where the waste oil tank is, I did a lot under there. And I've got my oil storage drums but they're starting to come together i'm going to detail this all up probably do it as part of a video and i'm also going to get some west hill wagon works point depot levers to go here but i think it looks really quite good and all that stuff we've just seen from west hill will all go mainly on this and also on another depot that i've built over there so these sidings have had this bit of the layout uh, this has gone back in time several weeks, but I wasn't happy with these two sidings. They weren't really used, and I didn't really know what to do with them. So what I did was I extended the uh, sides, added a couple more, used this bit here as a head shunt that I'm pointing to. I've got to wire it up. Installed a homemade catch point just to protect the depot a little bit. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to use this as a DMU uh, depot. Um, maybe have the odd loc on it but mainly it's going to be for my diesel multiple units and uh, the reason for that was um, like I said I had no real use for this these sidings the layout here does um, fold down towards the camera slightly so it's not exactly level so if you put any loose wagons or rolling stock on there they do have a tendency to roll forwards uh, that was a, a, in, a oversight when I built the railway uh, I thought it was level but it wasn't too bad but then i've got these sheds that i'm going to detail to you now now i found these at trains for you this was filmed in february this bit but they come with all the 
steam vents. Now these were kit built, I think, out of ratio kits, and they were just too nicely painted um up to leave. So these have been traded in. So I bought these second hand and this is what spurred on to do some sort of depot. So they have been um they've been really nicely built, very sturdy and very nicely painted. And I thought, well, I wonder if I can use them on the layout. And you can see there that they've been painted partially because they are designed to sit next to each other. They've even got working lamps widening on the rear. So the unpainted parts on both of the sheds where there's no detail painting, they sit side by side. So I amended those sidings to allow these two sheds. And the, the uh, thing is on the layout, this is the old steam shed uh, of the layout that has been converted to house the DMUs, whereas the TMD, which we just looked at, is a newer build for diesel uh, locomotives but they do look really really nice these sheds and when they're wired up and the lights work they will look good so if i just swing the camera around over to these uh, sidings that we've just looked at and i will of course obviously detail all this hard there'll be hard standing with um mounting board and all that i'm not using the cement again but they sit there one of them sits over those two rails and the other one will sit just slightly further forward, like so. And that is the premise is that is the old steam shed, which has now been converted for DMUs. And with a fueling point, um, with a fueling point in that there, I will be able to stable the odd loco in there as well. But this will be primarily the Network South East or Regional Railways DMU depot, and it will allow me to keep my DMUs on the layup. And it's got somewhere for them to sit while they're not being used. So if I just put that in there and then I'll get this LMS inspection saloon from Backman. You will see just how much of a slope um, there is. Even though it's not really visible to the naked eye. If I stand that coach in there, look, it will merrily roll back out of the shed and roll away. So I will try and look at that. I might add, uh, jack the leg up a little bit that's underneath just to level that out a bit more. But I really did like the look of these sheds and I think they look the part as a DMU depot. As in real life, they were converted to uh, d uh, diesel depots, these old steam sheds. And then on the back here, we're going to have a car park and a bit of a um, P-Way depot. But I also bought this as well. This is a second-hand tug that was in the model shop and I've bought that and that now sits on the harbour as well. And that will be eventually be, as said, the DMU depot and fueling point. So that's something else I'm going to be getting on with. Just heading back to this TMD. This is the concrete. I used craft con crafting concrete powder. Don't think I'd use it again, of course. It doesn't even out very well. It really looks all right. I'm going to leave this down. It's very solid. But it looks all right. But if I was to do it again, I'd use different... Uh, different powder I think. For the DMU I'm going to use, uh, DMU depot, I'm going to use some um, mounting card I think. So that's it for a little bit of a layout update video. Um, I will do a better update uh, later on when I've done some more work. It was great to go to Milton Keynes again and uh, great to meet some people. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye. Gen Woodles.